statuesque, graceful, chic, and beautiful. Her dancing was the perfect blend of sophistication and sex appeal. And nobody, but nobody made an entrance like Sid Charisse. I love to dance with a little dramatic flair. I like to have a little story to tell when I dance as well. She was born Tula Elise Finkley in Amarillo, Texas, and quickly earned the nickname Sid because it was the closest her baby brother could come to saying the word sister. After suffering a childhood injury, Sid was advised by a doctor to take up dancing to strengthen her physical condition. Soon, ballet became her main passion, and Sid would begin dancing professionally with a prestigious ballet russe at the age of 14. During World War II, Sid moved to Los Angeles, where she was introduced to director Gregory Ratoff, who immediately cast her in a specialty dance sequence in the film Mission to Moscow. But Sid's Hollywood career really began when she caught the attention of MGM producer Arthur Freed. Freed spotlighted her in a musical number in Ziegfeld Follies, featuring Fred Astaire. In those days at MGM, it was the most exciting place to be. When I saw that studio and the opportunities, and, and it was just so glamorous and so exciting to walk on that set that it just opened up a whole new world for me. The studio groomed Sid in speech, singing, and acting, and cast her in roles that highlighted her dark, exotic appearance. Many of these early films found her partnered with Ricardo Montalban. Although Sid was showcased in various vehicles, MGM seemed uncertain about how to promote her best qualities, until Gene Kelly cast her in the Broadway melody sequence in Singing in the Rain. It was really the first picture that brought me to the attention of, of the public. It was the first opportunity I had to dance with Gene. Well, of course, Gene had his own style, and uh, coming with a ballet background, I had a, a very good, strong ballet training, which he always liked dancers to have. So we worked very well together. And then Gene wanted me to look like the real flapper girl with the very high heel shoes. They were four inch heel shoes to dance in, but I was tall anyway, but he wanted to have that very tall, thin look, which, uh, which they had with me. Sid's next major film for MGM was The Bandwagon, and it gave her a new dancing partner. Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire came walking into a rehearsal hall one day, and I was rehearsing with Hermes Pan on something else. And I thought, well, he's coming in to say hello to Hermes because they were very close friends, and I stepped over to the side of the room to get out of the way. And uh, a few minutes later, I saw him kind of walking around where I was, and he's looking in the mirror, and he's kind of looking me over, and I thought, oh, my Lord, he's trying to see if I'm too tall for him to dance with him. So then I realized that and I started sort of bending my knees very discreetly to be as small as I could without being too obvious. So when he left, why, the phone rang and Arthur Freed said, Sid, it's okay, you've got the part. He doesn't think you're too tall. After her success in the bandwagon, Sid was showcased in three more big budget musicals, Brigadoon, It's Always Fair Weather, and Meet Me in Las Vegas. Silk Stockings, Sid's final musical for MGM at the end of the studio's heyday, was also the last for co-star Fred Astaire. It was probably one of the better acting roles that I had to play. And of course, Fred Astaire and Cole Porter were sitting on the set a lot of the time. And it was just a thrilling experience for me to make that film. Well, I've always felt very privileged uh, to be able to have worked at MGM because I learned so much and I was exposed to so, so, so many wonderful things. And it was the most exciting place to be at, at that time. Movie screens are no longer graced by dancers with the poise and sophistication of Sid Charisse, but her work remains as fresh today as when it was first performed. Hey For a great dancer like Sid, praise becomes redundant. But as Fred Astaire said, that's Sid. When you've danced with her, you stay danced with.